In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a water elevator inside of islands. If you guys do enjoy this video and if you want to see more like this, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and turn the post notification bell on so you never miss an awesome video like this. Just to keep you guys updated with the giveaway, the giveaway has ended and we are announcing the winner. However, make sure you check your emails to see if you've got an email from me. If you haven't received an email from me, then you haven't won the giveaway. However, if you have, then congratulations, you have 24 hours to get back in touch with me to claim your reward that being said let's get right on into the video so simply what you need to build this water elevator is a water bucket a totem and also a slate brick or your chosen block i'm going to be kind of adapting this setup so there's one that dv made where it's basically water going straight down from the top that's good however i'm not really sure on how it worked with my avatar so i'm going to be showing you a jumping way of doing it and also with this particular setup if the water updates then what happens is that it causes a huge problem where it floods your whole base so i'll show you what i mean right now so look if we put a totem right down it doesn't really matter what totem and then place a water bucket on the top as you can see the water stays as one block however if we did something like this over here if we build up by who and then put a bucket a block like here and then put it as you can see it floods the whole thing so what i've been thinking of is something like this with water it's simply just like a jump kind of way however what i'm going to be showing is how to jump with water to get right to the top at a reasonably quick speed now if we remove this onion totem as you can see it stays still however there was a little issue with this if you put a block right next to it it updates and it goes so there's two ways of actually doing this you could either just do one straight way up with water however i find this kind of glitchy i can't really get to the top at a reasonably quick speed so that's why i've tried to develop kind of a way of doing this without doing that so what i'm going to do i'm just going to delete that bo that block at the bottom so there was one more thing i want to test out before we actually do get into everything so we're going to put an onion totem right here then we're going to actually build around this and see if we can put floors on this without it updating so maybe if we do something like this maybe it won't update so let's place this block here and then let's remove these okay so as you can see now if we've already got the floors ready we can get up to the different floors without an issue so as you can see we are going to copy this method all the way up so look if we go through here as you can see you can generally just climb up and jump up so what i do recommend is it not being one block wide as some avatars may be a little glitchy so maybe you want to expand this out by two or something on those lines so you can actually get up to the different floors again i don't really think water setups are kind of like the best for this do bear that in mind however i did want to get a video out to you guys about water elevators and just overall see how they perform and if they would replace the stair elevators so let's just place a block here let's try this okay we can jump up and we can definitely do it like that so that might be the solution of how to do it so you might have to put your floor like this around this distance so it's one block away from the side so you might have to like jump into the floor i think that kind of works kind of well and you can also use use this as a way down if you want to but now we've got that floor set up we want to actually start building this up so we want to go up five blocks like this okay and then we want to put another one but the thing is there's one issue that we need to cover before we do anything we need to start from the top and work our way down so that being said what we want to do we want to put our block four three blocks down from the top and place the totem so you the often cases you might have to put you know another bucket and place it down okay but that is fine but the jumping distance is three blocks we want to keep that as quick as possible so the next water block would be here so we need to move this down by three blocks so roughly about here and then put the totem here and see where that is so that's one block so what we need to do we need to move this down one more so in the future they could potentially update the block so this would no longer float on its own however in the case that they don't this is still a really good setup to use so what you could do now you could put a water bucket like this so it's two blocks wide 
And then what we can do, we can lower this down even more and put another one and see where this is. So is this two blocks or one block? We'll figure that in just a moment. So that is one block. So we need to bring that down by one more. So we're going to put this here and place another totem here and put one like that. Okay, cool. So now we've done that. As you can see, there's two blocks in between them all. So what this is, is we can basically jump and hit the water. But there's one little thing we need to cover before we do anything like that. We need to build a little platform so we're able to get up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put an, a running water source roughly about here and see if we can get up from this part. By the looks of it, that didn't work. So we need to expand this down by one block just to be able to place a block under it. So we're going to build down by two. If we can see that, let me build with another block and put another one like that. So if we put this here and put the totem on here, then get the water bucket and place this on top again like this. So again, this is one block, so you might have to go down one more. So let's do that quick. Now we've got that one lower down. We could place this on top and then remove and remove that totem like that. And then we can replace the floor. So now we've got that set up. We can run to it and just jump. Okay. We can jump all the way up to the top. And that is how you make a basic water way up. There is another way where you can add a water bucket on the other. If you do this and then it'll float down. And what you could do, you can run to it and then like climb up. But this is really, really slow. I think you can like run towards it or something. But I don't really know how this works exactly because it is kind of slow. But I feel like the jumping way is a lot more efficient way up. However, this will probably get changed reasonably quick as this is just a single block of water. So look, we could just stand still and hit all the way up from the top and come all the way down. So we might be able to do floors with this. However, I'm not really sure if it will work that way. But if you just simply want to make a floor up to like a different surface, then make sure you build the water elevator to last as if you put one block next to it look what will happen look if we put this block next to it what it will do it will update them all so it all falls so you have to do bear that in mind if you are going to do this i think i think it still works if you just run up it however it will be really really slow if you just keep with that general method so that being said, that is basically how you make a water elevator inside of islands. If you did enjoy the video and if you did like, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.